on Facebook, um, in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. And um, they were saying they didn't know how to make their cut lines with PNGs. Well, if you're working on a BN20, it's important that you learn how to work with SVGs. Period. I don't care if you use, um, what is it, Adobe, Affinity, Silhouette. The program doesn't matter. As long as you know how to work your program and make your cut lines, that's the only thing that matters. And that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to be using Affinity Designer. Sorry if my voice is very raspy. I just woke up um, and I was like, I need to get this done because a few people asked. But anyway, they sent me a file. Um, I'm going to work on said file. I'm not sponsored by any of the programs that I'm going to um, show you. Not even sponsored. Um, affiliated with any of the programs I'm going to show you. So you're free to use whichever ones you want. Um, the one I'm going to use, I do pay $10 a month for. Um, I have a few videos showing ways to use said program. I like the program. You don't have to like the program. You can stick with your free ones. I think all of them basically do the same thing, but I like my program. Like I said, I'm working on Affinity. And here's the file we'll be using. I have a Tiana file. So you see that it says um, background is locked. I can't do too much to this. Like it moves the entire image. Um, what you will usually do to add your cut lines, you will go to your strokes and you would do that. And notice how it adds nothing because this is a PNG. It can't add anything. It doesn't, basically it can't read it. Like it can display it, but it cannot read it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back into the internet. I'm going to go here. The program I'm using is called Vectorizer.io. I'll type it in below. And we're going to go to Upload Images. And let's grab Tiana. This is very simple. It's going to happen in like a blink of an eye. Anyway, we're going to Upload. Boom. So we have this. I'm not going to go into detail on, you know, getting it perfect because this is just how to convert a PNG to an SVG. And um, that process is pretty simple. So right now, this is technically a PNG. And like, if you look closer, it cleans up our lines a lot. Like it's very pixelated here. Very pixelated. I'm pretty sure you can see that. And it just takes all the pixels out. So this is why I say get comfortable working with SVGs. For one, you want quality pictures. You know, if you're making t-shirts and things like that, you want quality artwork. I'm assuming, right? Anyway, so from here, what you want to do is do one color. Notice up here it says clip art. You want to do one color. And you see how it changed it all brown. We can work with this, but I like to use black. So I'm just going to add the color and delete the brown. Very simple, right? If you didn't catch it, rewind. But that's basically it. So this is already a SVG. We're going to download it. So when you open your SVG in Affinity, this is what you have now. You should have a black image, right? You should have a black image. There's going to be layers in there, and we call those curves. Curves is what you'll be working with in Affinity. When you have curves, the world is yours because you can do whatever you want to it. Um, I'm just going to show you an example of what I mean. So these are called nodes. You'll be able to move the nodes the way you want. You just put that back. You can move whatever you want. You can select all of them. You know, you can conjoin them. I mean, these are pretty separate, so there's no need to do that. Um, that's a more extensive lesson. But um, anyway, this is our SVG. Notice how we have curves around everything. Nodes around everything. 
right? So from here, I want to show you how to add your cut lines. Remember, this is an intermediate video, so you should already have your spot colors set up. If you don't, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to set up your spot colors for contour cuts and for perf cuts. If you don't have those, pause this video, go learn how to put your spot colors together, and then come back to this video, and I'm going to show you how to convert the PNG to the SVG to get it ready to cut. Welcome back. If you had to leave the video, welcome back. Um, so we have this, and we have our Tiana PNG here. It's pretty simple what we're about to do, right? But first, I want to show you exactly what's about to happen. So we have our one layer that we downloaded from our vector um, generator. We're going to go to stroke. And let's say we're just doing a contour cut. We're not doing a perf cut which means our contour cut is pink, right? So remember when I was playing with this toggle before? Here it is again. These are our cut lines, right? But you'll never need that much cut line. Point three is usually where you'll be at. You can't see it, but if I zoom in, that's a pink line. Right? That's a pink line. Let's turn that off real quick. We're going to turn that off real quick. So let's go back to the first layer. Let's name it original. All right? Now let's duplicate it. The one on the bottom, I want you to put bleed. That's going to be our bleed layer. What is a bleed? A bleed means it's going to cut around our design without taking the color of the paper. So if you don't want a white border, because the cut on the BN20 is never perfect, or whatever printer you're using, it's never really perfect and precise. So you always want to have a bleed on it. Um, so we have our bleed layer and we have our original layer. Now, what I want you to do is, if this is locked, like right here, unlock it by pressing the lock. And you're just going to copy that. I'm going to go up here so you can see what I'm doing. Edit, copy. And then go to edit, paste. Now this is our artwork. We have our artwork on top. So you see how it basically falls in line? And we have like a little black line in around it. And that's why we're going to add bleed. This is exactly why we're going to add a bleed. So let's click on our bleed layer. What I'm noticing is that most things are green here. So my bleed layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to fill, color. I'm going to pick the color picker. I'm going to use that one. And just click on the color. I want you to go to your contour tool over here in the toolbar, right? You want to select that with your bleed layer selected. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to radius and you're going to move it ever so slightly. Don't be over eager moving it, you know, astronomically. You don't need to do that. Move it ever so slightly. And what you'll see is that your bleed layer is coming behind here, right? Ever so slightly. You don't need to, you don't need to do the most. If you're not confident, like you don't need you're you'll rarely need to do this. If you're making stickers, you may need to do that. Um, you can even do it now, but it's not needed. You just need a little drama around it. So with this, again, with our contour tool selected, we're going to go down just a little bit because what we have is that black layer showing a bit. 
You want to go down just a little bit. You just want to hide it. Just a little bit. Let's hide our artwork so you can see it. Just a little bit, right? Let's put our artwork back. Now what I want you to do is select the artwork layer, right? You see opacity right here? Let's bring it down a bit. Because I want you to see what you're working on. I want you to see what you're working on. So we still got our artwork there. It's just turned down a bit. Right? Now let's go on our original layer, which is also our cut layer. So maybe I should put that original and cut. Now we're going to go up to our stroke. We're going to add our stroke line. Again, we can't see it because obvious reasons. But we're going to go here. And at this point, you should see where it's going to cut at, right? Now this light green line here, that's our artwork. Let's turn it up a bit so you can see it. Right? Let's turn it up a bit. And let's just go around it. Let's see where everything is cutting. That's our original artwork that's pixelated. Let's see where everything is cutting. We'll cut it here. And we're following the pink line. Now, if you find you want to add a little bit more cut in there, again, this is going to go around it. Matter of fact, let me show you. Let's hide the um, artwork. Notice how it's going around everything. See how those holes, holes, see how it's piecing together, holes, holes, now if you find you want it to cut around your artwork a little bit closer to the edge, We can take the original cut line, go back to our contour tool, and we can bring it back up a bit. So it's just trial and error with this. Just trial and error. I'm cut our hair. It's gonna get in that green. Get in there. So we have this. Your cut lines are in here. If we take out the artwork, you can see everywhere that is cut. Now, if you notice like little cuts in here that you don't want to cut, I want you to go to your um, node tool and you're going to select the cut layer. Boom, here. And notice how there's stuff like inside that you may not want to cut. You can just highlight it, delete it. Highlight it, delete it. Highlight it, delete it. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, no need to cut that. That can be a background. So you just play with it. And you can see like where you don't want to cut. Like if it's just minuscule cuts and you're like, I don't want to cut that. You don't have to. Let's go up close. What is that? Small little section. Eh, I guess we can cut that. Hide the artwork. I'm just hiding and bringing it back with this dot here. So that's basically it. Artwork, lead, and then you see the pink line around our cut line. 
that's what's going to cut. If I did not have that bleed layer, it would pick up the white on your of your paper or whatever color vinyl you're using, um, holographic, whatever, it doesn't matter. So let's add that ble uh, bleed layer back. Now, if you don't mind a white background, leave it how it is. It just won't be consistent. So get comfortable with using bleed layers. So even if you did want a white background, you would add a bleed layer and put white because you want it at least consistent. If you didn't have a bleed layer, what would happen is in some places, the white will be like thin. And then some places it may be a little thicker. It just won't be consistent. Whereas though this ensures that the white is consistent. Um, yeah. And if you wanted to see now I'm going into more extensive stuff. If you wanted your bleed layer, if you wanted your cut lines to be on the white bleed layer, you can do that too. Whereas they'll cut both or you turn one off. It's up to you. Um, but I'm going to turn it off because I'm not using it. Anyway, this is what we have. Let's make sure our opacity is all the way back up. And you want to export it as the PDF. Export. Excuse the quality of my desktop because I'm using it remotely. Um, my being 20 is at my office. I'm home, clearly. Um, but anyway, we uploaded our file. This is pretty big. <laughs> Let's bring it down to 10. Oops. Bring it down to 10 inches. But what we see here is our cut lines. VersaWorks is always funky, so it's like, it's not exactly gonna come out pixelated like this. Um, I guess it's just the screen size doesn't allow you to see it in its best quality. But those are the cut lines. I'm going to go to cut controls and go to cut only so you can see what's being cut. But you've seen that already when we did it in VersaWorks. That's it. You cut it, you weed your stuff out, and you go about your day. <laughs> um, thanks for having me.